Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another glorious episode of Jedi Talk. I'm your host, Brad Hughes. And before I introduce the full council, which they all are here, we want to ask you to follow us on Instagram over at Jedi Talk Podcast on Instagram and check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jedi Talk Podcast. No, slash Jedi Talk, sorry. Um, to my right, before we get this festive episode of the show started, we need to, like, jingle bells in the background or something. Um, to no, my right is the man. Mo- What's it called? Joe Blasto, Mulira, <laughs> the Star Wars one. The Star Wars one. Uh, that was my fart. Uh, to <laughs> my right is the man, the myth, the legend, Evan T. Boucher. Evan, what's going on? Hello there. I have been playing a ton of, I almost said Survivor, I wish, Fallen Order, because I had yesterday off, so I like sat at home all day and just played it. Nice. So I'm not done by any any stretch of the imagination, but I picked up on a line that I'm sure we have all have heard, but we just forgot. But it's another reason that Obi-Wan Kenobi, the show, stole straight up from Fallen Order. So Trilla says to Cal um, on Zepho, she says, I am what Seer made me. <laughs> like, come on, Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be our chance to introduce the man to my right, a one Tom Oakery, who is currently more pissed than ever. <laughs> <laughs> by the right of the council, by the will of the force. You're ki- what the fuck? <laughs> Disney Plus? Like, uh, Who I mean, wrote Kenobi? At this point, uh, yeah, yeah, at this point, I just find it laughable. I mean, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason. Uh, lazy writing, I think, is the yeah. reason. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, gentlemen, did you know that tomorrow is Festivus? It is. Oh, yes. you're right. What's the deal? What it's a Festivus. I'm sure the Brad hates it. Whatever. I'm no, sure he hates that No, because holiday. the actual holiday background, I'll give it real quick, being the Seinfeld intellectual on this podcast. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, again, follow us at Jedi Talk Podcast, and that's slash Jedi Talk Seinfeld YouTube, Talk Podcast coming where soon. Where YouTube blocked our last podcast. Yeah, YouTube straight up blocked our last <laughs> Thanks, episode. Thanks, YouTube. They're all like... <laughs> Too much, too no. much. So yeah, anyway, too much music in the back. Um, back they, in the back, they, you can't listen to it on YouTube. Back when George Costanza, um, w- it was a youth. He wanted a doll. Sent his father out. His father fought for the doll. Didn't get it, and he realized that the commercialization of Christmas would got him down. So he decided to create a new holiday. Um, that holiday was ever born as Festivus, and Festivus is marked by the uh, pole instead of having a Christmas tree. Um, it is. Um, you got a heavy hand over there, sir. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean I must, I'll switch. I'll switch. One. Okay, yeah. <coughs> um, and there's the, the airing of grievances, which is my favorite part. And That's gentlemen, everyone's favorite yeah. part. For so sure. So, cheers. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Cheers. We're drinking some Eagle Rare. What tonight. is this cheers all about? What is this? Cheers what what are we doing for good health? Very good. It's good. That is really good. It's good shit, bro. Burns going down and coming up. Woo. That's what she said. Uh, hey. So, the airing of grievances. Now, tomorrow I record the Christmas version of Fourth Mother Box with Kyle Cosentino. And I am promising that I'm going to air, be airing the grievances against all of my Scourge members, including you. <laughs> oh, Brad. Jesus. How long do you have? Um, <laughs> don't worry. But tonight, I'm going to be airing my br- grievances on my other co host on Jedi Talk. Oh, so it's an unholy time of the year again, and I have lots of problems with you people. <laughs> All of Scourge, including you, Stephen. We'll get there is on Fourth Mother Box, but for now, I'm coming after you, Evan T. Boucher. It's my government name. <laughs> but I'm it coming is. after you, Evan T. Boucher. It's also you know, my government name. <laughs> what does the T stand for? Anyway. Um, what's your T stand for? Um, well, I know what yours stands for. It stands for they're never going to bring back Ellen's energy adventure. <laughs> Facts. Seriously, we get it. <laughs> Um, you don't like Cosmic Rewind, yet here you are giving that Raylo type energy into making it an online personality. Now I agree, Cosmic Rewind would have been like a, <laughs> would have been tits with a Groot and Rocket animatronic at the mm-hmm. end of the ride, but Nacho Boy Chappic had to divert that budget <laughs> to Disney's Hollywood Studios instead because the greatest ride of all time can't keep Kylo Ren erect. <laughs> have they tried giving him a blue chew? There should be some in tomorrow's office uh, if you want to look for it. Jedi.com slash blue chew. Seventh night of Ren. You wouldn't even make the cut if Boys to Men had an open audition. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's because you're white. I've been disappointed in you immensely this year. Lieutenant Croy won't even come on our podcast because of you. <laughs> in all serious, uh, in yeah. all seriousness, Evan, I adore our friendship. And in the fact, I knew you before I actually knew Brad. Oh, so I didn't know that. You were always the level headed one on the I show. Guess that's true. Always the level headed one on the show. And now I can confirm you're the least craziest person in Orlando. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Wow. Happy Festivus. That was great. <laughs> that is pretty <really> great. <laughs> Y'all going to get yours tomorrow, and honestly, though. not okay. as bad as I was expecting. So. No, no, no. Wow. Yeah. Mine will yeah. be harsher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kyle's will be the worst. Oh, yeah. 
He deserves yeah. it. In all fairness, I don't want Ellen's energy adventure back. I know. Because it, it was 90% crap and 10% awesome. But I would like something else there. You do have a you have a last day Ellen's shirt, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was there that day. I have that, too. That day was, that the priority cool. was studios because it was great movie rides closing day. That's also. right, the same, the same day. day. That's harsh. Yeah. So I did that, and then I booked God, it God, that's harsh. That. I yeah. did Ellen before, like a day or two before, because I was just like, I'm not going to fucking come in, instead of riding her. Great. I, that I think closed I 2017? We grew, yeah. Right? yeah. August. We, we rode great. You were with me that day, right? No. I hadn't even met you who, yet. Who was? Somebody from the show. The last time I rode both Great Movie and Ellen's Energy Adventure was my honeymoon, 2017, after we got married. So that was May. Yeah. <sighs> right before it closed. Yeah. yeah. The, the, just before the summer, yeah. That was a sad day, man. Great Movie Ride Closing was a sad day. It. Yeah. I. Uh, what? What? All right. I'll start because which which attraction hurts you the most that it's gone? For me, it's the Maelstrom. Oh, like, really? Could yes. not care less about Oh, Maelstrom. I loved that. I think it fit in way better than Frozen. Oh, it definitely. Oh, did, yeah, that's not a question. Yeah. But I, I agree. I like uh, the rides. Whatever. It's okay. I, I know, but it's I, no. It's, it's just a nostalgic fact. It, it definitely is. So and like, I wrote it like once as a kid. It freaked me out. I didn't have like oh, the affinity really? for uh-huh. it as as a lot of people did. Yeah. Uh, I regret not writing it because I was at Epcot. I had a five minute wait, and it was like one of the coldest days of the, my life. It was so fucking cold here that one time I came to visit. It was so cold. I was in shorts, and we had to all go and like get sweatpants and sh- and like. Sh- and I was still living in North Carolina, so I'm used to. Yeah, it. I was used more used yeah. to the cold than I am now. But I and it was like a five minute wait, and I just didn't want to walk across the park <laughs> from the land pavilion because I was so cold. I was like, I'm going back to the hotel. So oh, it's the no. temperature is going to be yeah. this weekend, basically. Uh, yeah, it was. It was about. Th- I mean, dude, it was fucking blast. freezing. It was yeah. freezing, and then like you had the wind coming off the lagoon, and it was just oh yeah, it's even awful. Worse. Uh, so I regret not writing it. But well, that's the mo- good thing about the barges right now in the lagoon. It blocks the wind. Yeah, kind of. That's the only yeah, good thing. Kind of. It kind of does. Um, the, the one that hurts the most is is for me. Uh, this the is going to sound odd. Off. What happened? That's okay. Um, it has a timer on it. Okay. Um, the one that hurts for me the most. This is going to sound odd, but it's I'm going to go this version of it because I experienced it more than the previous version of it, and it's uh, Stitch's Great Escape. Oh sure. Because I loved Alien Encounter, and it was like keeping it alive in just a different way. And with that being gone, man, I spent so much time when I was on the guest experience at Magic Kingdom just wandering backstage at that attraction. Yeah. Oh, walking in. They use it as like Stitch costuming now. Oh, so like, uh, right. Yeah. They're just, you walk back there and Stitch is getting dressed in one of the th- round theaters and stuff, and there's just shit everywhere. Wow. But um, I would go and like just look. I, I would walk in all the time, and you could, I would, you could walk into. The pre-show and the theaters. Was just Sir open. still there? Uh, no. And Skippy? No. Ah, oh, dang. But you could walk up. You could see the tubes and stuff. Like I, I have, I have, I have, I have pictures. I have to, I have to go find some. Did you try climbing in the tube? Uh, try to teleport <laughs> yourself? <laughs> uh, it was cool. It was cool. But yeah. I, I love. That's that why one. I got fired. But, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why. That's why. The secret case. Uh, yeah. But like, even like underneath it, there was like there was dials that would like underneath it. Because it's like three levels. It's like the ground level, and then like the theater level. Because you kind of go down a little bit, and then there's like the underground level. And there's like stuff that's like written on like like hand dials and like machinery parts that that'll say like they say Mission to Mars. Wow. And Holy stuff. I have pictures of that wow. stuff too. Like, I, I, yeah, I, I did a lot of exploring in the Utilidors yeah. when I was when I was a cast Man. member. That's um, wild. For, it's hard. I recommend for me. it, by the way, if you want to ever just go to like, and they don't care. You can just walk backstage, like you walk in the front of the park, just walk down and just explore. It's cool. Dang. Just have your ID out. Wow, it's cool. It's tough for me between Horizons, Great Movie Ride, Timekeeper, and Twenty Thousand Leagues. Those did you ever do Horizons? Oh yeah. My mom says we did, but I don't remember doing I, it. Did you ever do it? I, if I, I did, I don't vivid, recall. Vivid I don't remember memories. it either. I, don't I mean, I was there in '93, so I remember. Really Take Flight or Delta Dream Flight. I don't remember which incarnation of it it was, but I remember doing that very vividly. I've I think it was both. Delta Dream I've Flight. I've done both. It was Take Flight at the end because the sponsorship ran out. Okay, so, so it was, it was Delta, one. then Take Flight. Whatever it was in 96, that's what yeah, I Yeah, that wrote. was Take Flight. Okay. You know, the yeah. the only like ride memory I have from 93 is the Great Movie Ride, like vividly. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I remember like the pre- like I remember the Great Hall of Presidents and like, all of that stuff. I remember the park pretty well. Because my sister had a meltdown, and my dad had to take her back to the hotel, and <laughs> my stepmom and I went to see the president. So we stayed at what Shades of Green is now, whatever the uh, Disney, Disney Village. Vi- village, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where we stayed at. That's cool. Yeah, I don't, I, I remember. I can't remember if it was at Disney Village or the Grand Floridian. Bell was doing like a 
like a story time with a bunch of kids, and I like ask them questions. At I the c- hotel? Yeah, I kept a- I kept answering the questions, and <laughs> Bell was like, <laughs> Bell was like, you could join if you want. I'm like, no, I just came <laughs> no, back good. away. No, you little redhead, come yeah. on, you little redheaded bastard, get down. I'm gonna feed you to the beast, you <laughs> fucking little prick. So I was like, no, you're not. The beast isn't real. Yeah, they, I mean, <laughs> characters back then were, were way more involved. In yeah, for sure. Um, speaking of involvement, I asked our listeners to do something this week. <laughs> Evan, you still they yet to submit it? yours. Yeah, one did. One did. Our frosty eaten buddy <laughs> from hometown Illinois, Michael A. Norot, the A stands for Anthony, awesome. and also stands for ass, sent me a fart this week. <laughs> I woke up to it, I think. Um, I, I don't remember if I saw the text before going to bed. can't remember if it was late, but I remember seeing it in the morning. Or, or, or I saw it before going to bed, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the debut of Mike Norot's Frosty Fueled Fart. <laughs> <laughs> Again, for the people in the back. <laughs> what else is in the background? That's what I would have well, Let's keep listening, Evan. <laughs> All right, so knowing Mike, know. it's it's probably um, a little person porn. <laughs> <laughs> the guy walked by as soon as I said <laughs> uh, he's like, the Thank God there's no Siri out here or anything. They're like, like they're like sliding. They they like get on slip and slides with oil, and they like slide through, and then that's how the little the person guy connects to, with the little person girl. Is this how Jesus. we've had to hit a l- alarm for for Tom here? Hit a button for Tom. Larry! Oh, I got a button for Tom. <laughs> I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, <laughs> lamb, rice, You made it. You name it. Uh-oh. What's wrong? No, 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 no. Oh. I thought I lost my hair. Man. There's stuff going on. <sighs> yeah. What are you guys doing for Christmas? Anybody doing anything? Chocolate fun? rain. Chocolate rain. <laughs> Why? Well, chocolate uh, rain. The baby I'll be boy. going to Taylor's home in, in Daytona to hang with uh, their family. So. I'll be on the complete opposite end of Florida from you. I'll be in Clearwater. Beautiful. Are you going to Clearwater? Mm-hmm. Nice. I've never been to Clearwater. It's, go- it's, it's my favorite it's nice. beach town in Florida. I've heard far. it's sick yeah. with it. It's I what? Go. I heard it's sick with it. Sick with it. It's sick, sick, with sick with it. 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 It's weird when you say it fast. Yeah. Sick with no, it. it's weird when you like, don't it. say it fast. <laughs> when you go sick with it. It's like an Italian it. thing that, it. that they imposed on white people to no. say. Sick with it. <laughs> sick with it's my yeah. thing. Yeah. It is sick with it. It's, sick it's with a it. Brad Hughes it's thing. It's like saying lit. Ladies and gentlemen, there was like no Star Wars news this week, so if you just want a podcast <laughs> conversation, this is what you're going to fucking get. Oh, Although man. the best Star Wars news we can get this week is uh, the new drops I have on our soundboard. Now get your seven foot two asthmatic ass back here, <laughs> or I'm going to tell everyone what a whiny bitch you were about Potamame or Panda Bear or whatever the hell her name is. <laughs> Robot chicken for the win. Potamame or Panda Bear. Uh, oh, he's crying now. He's yeah. crying. What the hell is an aluminum falcon? <laughs> <laughs> I I love the see okay I I'm I don't know if it's notorious or not but I've been uh, infamous for saying I do not like um, spaceballs spaceballs yep because I don't feel like he knew Star Wars well enough to mock it and it was just like puns and it was a money grab yeah and yeah. it was it had ma- mostly Star Wars but it was also science sci-fi fiction, just general yeah, sci-fi yeah, yeah. But Star to Trek me, sci- whatever Star Wars isn't science fiction true. Like it's not. It's it's, it's fantasy. space fantasy. Yeah, like it's yeah. not space. science fiction. So to it's like a space lump, opera. See, to me, like lumping it in with it science fiction opera. is like showing you don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. It's not Star yeah. Trek. It's not. You're not future. wrong. It's it's in the past. It can't be. I mean, science fiction can be whatever you want, but I don't. I don't feel like it's the same thing, and that's why I don't like that movie. But that's what I like about the <laughs> Family Guy episodes is that it's yeah. he's a huge star. You can tell he's a Star Wars fan. Like to know. I'd love for them to do the prequels. I, I would love and to do the, the sequels. sequels. I, I wish they would do everything. Oh, if they did the, the sequels, sequels, they would get roasted. Yeah. Holy shit. That's, well, like that's why they, they won't do should. it. That's I why. But yeah. they, yes, they all should. They make fun of the originals. Exactly. In the family guy. I mean, come on. R2 but that was before Disney owned them. Yeah. yeah. And George Lucas loved it. He was a fan. Like, I, It's so fucking George cool. George Lucas like, showed up in one of the Robot Chicken episodes. Yeah. As himself, right? We should. I haven't watched it for a while. We should all get violently high and watch the Robot Chicken <laughs> Star I would Wars love episodes. To. They've done stuff for Episode Nine, Robot Chicken. Yeah. There's I've some Ray stuff. Oh, really? I've seen like the one Ray with Ray stuff is Kylo, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I need to see that. They like, have a lot of stuff. You're kind of like, my brother, but not, or something like that. She's <laughs> Just because like, they have, have the same last name as yeah. Skywalker. But yeah, that's like the running joke as like she kissed a relative or whatever. But so Ooh. did Luke and Leia, and they were actually related, so. I think, th- I, I think kissing a relative is part of that porn Mike had on in his fart. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a lot of stuff where it's episode nine. It's gonna get weirder, guys. Episode nine, Ray on Tatooine. It's gonna get weirder. Like it's great. <laughs> I love 
I love the sequels, man. I don't give a fuck. Speaking says. of weirder, I, I told you Steve Burns got a special out on Amazon Prime. Yeah, I need. I want to um, watch it. Started to watch it. A, a lot of it was his um, stand up that I saw before Sal. But again, a lot Makes of it sense. was. Uh, uh, yeah, it should be right. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He'll, you, so the way it works with a comic is, um, once the special comes out, you drop that material. Yeah. So you got to milk mm-hmm. it till it comes out. Right. It's and hard as shit I saw to him before hour. the material came out. So yeah, it was fair game. It's fair game, hundred percent. Um. It is so fucking difficult to write an hour of comedy. The most material I ever had was like 35 minutes that I could do straight. Wow. It is, and it t- that took me six years. It's so, like, when you, that's how you can tell a comic is really, really fucking good, is when they do multiple, like, I think the the good timeline for a new hour of comedy, when it's your only job to worry about writing, mm-hmm. is every two to three years you should have a new hour. Yeah. But that is so hard. It mm-hmm. is so fucking hard. Like, I don't. I mean, it's. I don't. Now that I'm not writing anymore, like, I don't even remember how I used to come up with things to write about. Right. I love the way Rogan does it. He's talked about it on his podcast before. Well, he'll he'll just write an essay essentially, and then go back in and like insert jokes into the essay. So he'll write about a topic. Yeah. And then kind of go in and like punch up the essay, which is an interesting way to do it. I'm no. Uh, yeah. I would just come up with like things and then tr- just on stage try to make it funnier. I'm no like comedic genius at any sense, but I've been trying to like put things down so I can remember them for like fourth mother box and like I could go off on tangents with it. Mm-hmm. Like I have like a notes tab of like stories that I think like I was in the bathroom the other day. Like I heard somebody above me and I'd be like, you know, be a funny joke. The story is like the story of the upstairs neighbor that's pooping above you. So, like, I typed that out, and I was just going eventually, at some time, I was just going to go with it and kind of try to Larry David my way out of it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it's 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 weird, man. Like, I have ideas that I wrote, like, jokes on that yeah. I go now, I'm like, oh, this is how I would do that. Like, I think yeah, about yeah, it yeah. all the time. Oh, yeah, more, like, mature, right? Yeah. You know? Well, it's, it's just, like, you have time to think about, like, what actually was funny about the topic versus just <laughs> trying to get something out. It's almost like when you're in the shower and you're just like, oh, and that argument I had two days ago, I yeah. said this. That's well, exactly the shrimp what store is. called. Yeah. They're running, yeah. That's exactly the church what store is. called. That's, some, that's so funny. Like, you'll be like, oh, man, if I said this, I would have won that argument. Like, ugh. But yeah. I'm too dumb to think about it in the moment. <laughs> I, I, I've i had those thoughts a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> With someone in particular that will not be named for legal reasons. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're and the most 40. used button of 2022, <laughs> also the newest button the of fart. 2022. Brad's fart. <laughs> the evolution on that is just nice. <laughs> and then my quick one. Yeah. <laughs> you see, we've got my my quick hitter, Quickie. and then Brad's elongated. His has like an arc, a story. Arc. <laughs> it does have a story arc. <laughs> I was a fart. Look at me. Oh, I go away. <laughs> and then Mike is just a violent shark. <laughs> Um, <laughs> best Christmas content. Uh, you're not getting this anywhere else, folks. No, you're not. You're, you're not getting this, this like kind of comedy. This just continues. <laughs> Brad and and myself, our three year tradition of Christmas, where like mostly Brad is on time with the gifts, but I'm like, hey, I'll give it to oh, you yeah, after. Christmas. Yeah, we're doing it after. I was actually going to bring your guys tonight. My oh, dumbass forgot that. No, I'm glad you didn't. I'm Me too. Didn't. I know, but I was just going to bring them because Winston. Can't seem to concept of not opening gifts that aren't his. Oh, oh really? So, yeah, he just stands the by the is tree. Like surprisingly good. I thought because he's into fucking everything. Yeah. He's a nutcase. I too. thought uh, he's wild. Yep. I thought he would have an issue with it. Well, he hasn't touched a single thing on the tree once. Wow. Hasn't touched a single present. Every, every Christmas we've had with Winston, he's opened gifts in the morning, so he knows what to do. So he's <laughs> looking at him. That's he's mine, like, bitch. He's like, I'm gonna break into this, whether you like it or not. Dick. That's crazy. And of course, but. he's not getting it till Christmas morning because yeah, you know, we're. Normal people with a dog. Yeah. We're white people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Are you guys going to do Christmas in Clearwater? Or are you going to do Christmas at home and then go to Clearwater? Yeah, her and I will exchange home and then go to Clearwater whenever my sister says that. Holly's so fucking dope. We were both like, I was stressed about everything because we just had so much to do and then buying for family because we're going up there. And yeah. I was like, can we just wait till after Christmas and do Christmas between the two of us? Yeah. Just so we're not stressed about it and like, sure. I don't have to run around forever, like look for some shit that we both. And then we like kind of settled on, yes, but then let's just also just just book a cruise and just call it a fucking day. <laughs> like, what did okay. you book it for? Nothing did wrong with that. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. okay. Yeah. Disney or no? It, no, it's probably going to be Royal Caribbean. Cool. Royal Caribbean's They're fucking good. sick with it. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> sick with it. There he goes. Hey. <laughs> sick with it. But uh, all right, let's talk a little Star Wars here. There's not too much to talk about. Before but we start, I just noticed the 
uh, Aquaman <laughs> thing feel, up there. Somebody noticed it. Oh, I didn't even. I oh, was looking didn't? at it the whole I fucking you time knew. earlier. No, what I had no like, idea. Like, <laughs> ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, that is Tom's prank of the day. Uh, I put, dang, I didn't. I so said that it. that Mara figure, I bought that is only that for that. Heard? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I don't want ever heard of it. No, <laughs> she's staying in here because it's I funny. It. I purposely bought that Mara doll, and it's like a big ass, like Barbie sized fucking thing of poop. Um, I bought that to end my figure video, like what what figures would do yeah. when I did that. Yeah, I remember that. I that bought video. that specifically to end because the f- the Flash ends that video up Amber Heard's ass. <laughs> so the Flash yep. canonically is up her ass right now. He is. Yeah. Wow, because that was a shot at Ezra we Miller. Should, we should put her Heard. the Cam Tono. <laughs> yeah, yeah but whatever. So Amber Heard's been up there since I got here tonight for a couple hours. You know what's so funny? That I noticed it, but I didn't notice it. Like I saw it, that it was up there. Just another figure. Like, I, I just was like, oh, I guess it's Ray or something. You I don't think know, it was Mara know. Jade? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I just because I, I was looking like, up there earlier. Mara Jade. Figure. We were you know, talking about the fucking Boba Fett. I, I was, know. I was looking at You're it. I was waiting right at it. I was looking at you, waiting for you to say something. <laughs> I just out of the corner of my eye saw that. I'm like, what is? Oh, it's like Aquaman thing. That's hilarious. I didn't know her. What's her character's Mara? Mara. Yeah. Mara. All I'm gonna say on that is. I know somebody whose middle name is Mara, and it it tracks, checks out. <laughs> I, know, I know a girl named Mara too, and I can confirm it tracks. Yeah, that's a, it's a that's a crazy bitch name. Yep. Mr. So what's the Star Ketchup. Wars news? I'm eating salad here. <laughs> Wait, is that who I'm thinking of? The middle name one, yeah. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That adds up. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> checks out. That checks out. Fishy. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, that's all I gotta ask for. <laughs> it. This is what we do here on the podcast. I used to listen. All right. Way, I'm well aware. Not uh, what you're thinking. Not. Not. No. Yeah. Both. Oh <laughs> shit. All right. Well, I wasn't going there, but goddamn. All right. <laughs> that's the funniest thing he's ever said. <laughs> yeah. That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever, ever done. I can't <laughs> that's it. That's it. Go home, ladies and gentlemen. I was trying to be nice, with, nice about it. I was fucking uh, nice with it. I was trying to be nice with it. <laughs> Stick with it. Evan's good after one shot of Eagle Rare, dude. Uh, apparently so. Uh, 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 I'm uh, crying, uh, laughing right now. Oh, oh my god! I forget what it was that I said a couple weeks ago. That was the funniest thing I've ever oh, said, but I just thing. did top no, it. No, Evan, there's there's nothing that's gonna ever top that. <laughs> that's great. Okay. Whew, all right. Now that we're degrading, we're done degrading with us. Uh, oh, never mind. Um, yep. Massage <laughs> <laughs> the alarm comes in full force. we got to do it at least once or twice before we wrap this up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What are we going to talk about? Well, Star, Star Wars. Wars. There's those. So Disney Plus put out like a trailer for next year, right? Mm, so yeah. we got a quick I've image. Yet to see this. So it's, it, it's okay. They, like, there were low key scenes. Um, so we got a Mandalorian three, a skeleton crew. It was just Jude Law looking all Star Warsy, and then Ahsoka, and then like a little Bad Batch. Sweet. Ahsoka just took the cloak off. Like, okay, it's Rosario Dawson. We know what she looks like. The Mandalorian season three one was the most interesting one because Mando was standing there with several different looking Mandalorians. I think that w- I yeah. think I saw that at Celebration. Yeah, and I think the Jude Law picture is the same picture they did. For okay, well then could be then yeah. yeah. So not a bunch, okay. but that's yeah. like about. Dude, yeah. I'm good. I don't need a trailer for Mando season. Like, let's they're just gonna do fucking. It, but we of course don't need they it. are. Of yeah. course they are. But you, you I, think let's they're just gonna go. do another one? This is yeah, 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 yeah. March oh, yeah. first for sure. They're gonna okay, drop yeah. something mid February because we've only got one official one, right? Yeah. No, that's mm-hmm. right. They'll do two. It'll just yeah. be like a few, like something else. But I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't even know if I want to see it. I think I'm good. I think I. You say you do or don't want to watch it? I'll watch it. Really? Yeah. I think I will just for the show. But I saw what got me hyped at celebration. Sure. Yeah. I'm. I'm. That's all I needed. I mean, I saw what got me hyped. In November of 2020, when season one came out, so like, <laughs> we, I didn't need trailers for season two or season three. Like, I was not high on the Mandalorian, the trailer at celebration. Oh yeah, that's true. I was like the only person that didn't yeah. think it was yeah. incredible. Weird. I'm a weird guy. What do you what? want from me? What do we got? Fish. Bad batches, <laughs> like a week away, right? Or so, a uh, week and a half. Yeah, January fourth. Bad batch right? is almost here. Uh, oh, good. That means we'll okay. I'll be able to. I'll be back home by then. Yeah. I want. I want to watch Man. it on my TV at home. Right, I know that sounds weird. But January fourth, no, no, like yeah, has Jan- to be January fourth, two episodes, right? Two or three? Oh, I don't know. I, think I, didn't, three, I didn't read right? up on I that. I shared it on Instagram. I think it's three, or maybe four, two, three. It, there, it's a multiple episode drop, which is cool. They just put out the dates for every single episode. What yeah. yesterday? I shared it in. the We talked about it on the podcast. podcast. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so we highlighted the one oh, that's going to be about, the about two. I hope so. If not, the fuck are you doing? That's just a tease on purpose, Ed. You if you call so? it the outpost and it's about Tatooine I mean, it's again, like it's come a on, generic Daily Star Wars. It is. It is. But we, I think it's just 
we're more sensitive to it because we live here. Yeah. Most and likely, like, yeah. You know, who knows? I, if they don't do it, I think you're fucking crazy. Especially, that's the perfect place to do it, Bad Batch. Because it's yeah. animated, kids are going to watch it. Yep. Actually, well, well, I don't think Resistance had a big viewership, even among kids. But if it did have a big kid viewership, it should have been in Resistance. I know so many people who didn't even know that show existed. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. I don't think they the didn't do a good job. Good. Well, they didn't do a good job marketing it. Like they, no. they market, they market, uh, they market Bad Batch well. Yeah, even Rebels. It's not the Rebels. They did yeah. incredibly well. Yep. Yeah, uh, Clone Wars, Wars was in seven, yeah. like, but yeah. no one give a fuck. It's just a the the content wasn't great. Yeah, and b you just didn't care to push it out. It was only two seasons, right? Yeah, that's wild. Two seasons during your sequel trilogy, and, and you don't market it. It's like the only the, and, and it thing had, that doesn't have Ahsoka too. It's weird, right? And and it had uh, Oscar Isaac as Poe Dameron. Like, yeah, it's weird. Oh, really? He did, yeah, he, he did the voice. Yeah, cool. He did the, he did yeah, the, the voice, good. and it's just like, what are you doing? Like, how did you fuck that up so bad? Yeah, I know. I don't know. They, they were. I think they were very scared about like spoiling stuff in the sequel trilogy. But like, there's so much you could What's explore. Their spoil, yeah. You're exploring, like. Yeah. <laughs> They must be. Sa- they've they've got to be saving it for big episodes like ten, eleven, twelve. Do you think that's gonna happen? Yes, you I think so. I've, I've said it here. I've said it anywhere. It's yeah. gonna happen in our lifetime. Thousand oh, yeah. percent. Man. Thousand percent. I mean, Daisy Ridley just had lunch at Lucasfilm. She did. So, what like do, what do you What do you realistically think is gonna come of that? Realistically, realistically think? like what do you think? Like, let's say she was like. I know she said there's. A, she kind of prefaced it by saying I'm there for a while. I don't buy it, but. Let's say that they are in the works to do something. What do you think that something is? Do you it's think it's a movie or a Disney Plus? What do you think it what is? What if it was Tales of the Jedi Ray? <sighs> that could happen. That could happen. That'd be a good way to keep her around. Just kind of like do a voice acting. And have good like Maybe do that and then lead it into a movie. They should yep. do an actual theatrical release, no Disney Plus yep. movie. That's what I want with Star Wars. I don't want Star Wars movies on Disney Plus the same time it goes in the theater. Get that shit away. No. That's why I liked when DC, building up to even though movie. the problems they have, they didn't bow to that shit. Like, the Batman was in theaters for 45 fucking days. Like, yep. that's what I want, you know? There's something so fun, especially when Star Wars was around Christmas time, of, like, ev- like almost every year, every other year, like, you get this hype built up for a fucking event at the end of the year. Right. I miss that so fucking much. Mm-hmm. I miss it so much, man. The Disney Plus stuff is fun and it's cool, but like, I want even if they just do like a Mando, the C- series finale is a movie, which I think is something they're gonna do. They got to yeah. build to that uh, one day where one series ends with a two-hour finale. Fuck, That's a movie. Man. I I hope that. it is. Yeah. I yeah. I just I miss. That's I so miss, easy money. Yeah. Stranger Things did it right. They did, but yeah. it wasn't like a to the theater yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh no. They, they yeah. need yeah. to put it in the theater. theater. They yeah. just like also where you can't watch it at home. It's like okay, yeah. you watch the first eight episodes. Well, now you got to see the finale in, theater. in yeah. theaters. Go pay for it. <laughs> Honestly, though, that's what they would do, and it, I would pay for it. It would make sense. Uh, yeah, but we're not everyone. I feel like that would piss off a lot of people. I don't know, man. I th- it's so beloved. If I it think was bad, it probably would. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I, I could definitely see the argument of like, dude, what the fuck? I've been watching this at home yeah. for the last five yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. I, I see that argument. Yeah. But, but at the same time, go to the parks. They don't care about that argument. Like, Yeah, they want your money. They don't give a fuck. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I just really, really miss the hype towards the movies. I really do. I really miss gearing up for it and like geeking out and like watching the trailers over and over and be like, what is what's Right. I, I don't know, man. I think we may have passed our golden age of Star Wars fans. Ooh, I don't know. No, I think so. We've been saying for the past no. three years it's the best time ever to yeah. be a Star Wars fan. I a thousand agree. percent it is. I still think it I, is. I'm not so certain. Disney man. has control yeah. over I it. I think they're gonna. I, I think that they're still gonna do really good stuff. But I think like Did something stop. I don't know. I feel like I'm not. Oh, hello. There it goes again. Check. Okay. We're, yeah, we're good. We're good. That was weird. I don't know. I just feel like some of the fun Odd. with Disney Plus has worn off a little bit. Where it's like. Because you just know, like, oh, guess we're going to get a, Disney, a Star it's Wars show. The I'm quality tired of is a little oversaturated. It's too much. Yeah. Especially with Marvel. We have yeah, four shows Yeah, it's not as bad as Marvel. This year. I think that's the point. You know, there's a happy medium. Is Skeleton Crew this year? No. Like 23? No. Um, well, why was it, in the, it, it might why be. was it in the trailer for next year? Then? I, I think know, it's at the end of next year. I don't know. I think, pretty sure. I think they're pushing to get the Acolyte out sooner for some reason. I mean, Acolyte's filming right now. Soka isn't so Skeleton Crew. So we can get that shit up whenever. But wow. this might be why the oversaturation thing here could be why they're roping in some of, uh, what was it called? Rangers of the New Republic into Mando. To oh, be like, right. okay, we can't have 17 shows. Let's take one of them and 
folded into this show, so it's not another show. Marvel makes more sense because you're focusing on like an entire. I mean, I know Star Wars is a universe too, but like you're focusing on so many, especially with like the TVA. I'm like, oh, just, there's so much shit you can do. I with know, it. but it's kind of made Marvel a little just. Eh. I I think they're gonna learn the lesson the hard way that people don't want. I I don't want a ton of Star Wars shows. I think you should like the Mandalorian feels right to be a show. Um, right. Obi Wan could have been a movie. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think yeah. it would have been a better sure. movie, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, the yeah, Boba Fett movie have copy off could have been a movie. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Boba Fett could have been a movie. Absolutely. Uh, and it would have been a better one. Like, I think they're taking these ideas that they have that would be good films and just stretching it out and making the product worse. It's almost like, I hate to be this guy, but it's almost like when you have a, this is a Booker's bourbon. It's uncut, so they don't put water in it. You're uncut. If you water it, if you water, I'm not. If you water it down, your mom knows. If you water it <laughs> down, if you water it down, it <laughs> get, mom joke. Hello. <laughs> if you water it down, it tastes different, right? And yes. So if you yeah. water these products down, it's not going to be the same. And Can't dilute it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's upsetting. Um, yeah, when know. you have a movie, but then you throw in filler episodes in the middle of the movie, it's like it's noticeable, and it's just like you're wasting your time and your your energy that you're putting in yeah. your dedication. Fair. If I'm in point, charge, I focus on theatrical releases and then maybe you do a prequel or a sequel to that yeah. on Disney Plus yeah, or something. Prequel movies are always boring because it's like you kind of know what's going to happen. Yeah. For the most part, yeah. But the most part, you yeah. could also do it just like, oh, the fans really latched on to this one character here. Okay, sh- we'll give yeah. him a series. Ned B, yeah. A Ned B series. I love Ned B. A B. Where he just doesn't talk. <laughs> it's Ned B. It's like the Adventures of Ned B. How about we get Tales of the Droids? There's a BD One episode. Well, there was a droid show. There was a droid show out. that yeah, that's true. And they just they've never done like next to the Lando I'm, I'm show. I'm like and done getting hyped about shit because none of it fucking comes out. But see, now we were just talking about oversaturation, but now we're disappointed things aren't coming out. So wh- which is it? I haven't called this out yet. It's true. No, but the difference. What I'm saying, oversaturation is like that's a different type of content, right? Like it's a kids show. It's different. Uh, I don't need nine ep- that many episodes of fucking Andor. That's the watering Facts. down that I'm talking Same about. Same with Kenobi. I love Kenobi, Kenobi, but it was Could've too long. Could have been four episodes. It was too long, yeah. Could have been four episodes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But the di- I guess the difference would be, like, once you start getting my brain thinking of, like, what it could be, and then you don't do it, it's disappointing. But this is also just a the last 30 years of Disney problem. It's like we announced this movie, this show, this parks project, and then it doesn't happen. Yeah. So that's just a Disney thing. Yeah, it's annoying. But I don't want I don't want anyone else touching Star Wars. Disney's got it down. Yeah. I, th- I, th- I mean, if someone has to own it, yeah. Thank God it's not. Uh, <laughs> uh, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. Or, yeah. Thank yeah. God it's not Warner Brothers because Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, you still, you right over there. Yeah, I'm fine. Mm. I'm yeah, good. I think he's the most. You're the most level headed about it. It sounds like you're like I'll keep yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like calling James Gunn out on this, but I'm giving uh-huh. him a chance with this. Like uh-huh. I think you're handling it. Yeah, because I, I well, I've Tom's been a, not stupid. I've yeah, been a that's Snyder, why. I've been a Zack Snyder fan for a long time. Like Kyle? I, I mm. saw what Warner Brothers was doing to to him, and after we got the Snyder cut, which I fought for, I donated money to suicide prevention for. Um, we got it, and like I did not like as much as I wanted to see. Do you know why he donated suicide prevention? Like, as do you understand the? Okay, you nope. might want to explain that because that makes yeah. no sense if you don't know the story. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> long story short, the there was millions upon millions of fans who wanted to see Zack Snyder's full vision of the Justice League because if you saw Justice League, you know that's not Snyder, and it's not how, what those character arcs were how meant meant how they were supposed to wrap up. So we pushed for the release of the Snyder Cut for like five years, right? And then there was an event. There was an event on Twitter um, the release the Snyder Cut on like November 18th. And we were donating money to um, the suicide prevention. Um, the what, what is it? The American Life? Something like that. ALS, yeah. something like that. And there was almost a mi- like $750,000 to a $1 million like, like donated to it for that event that caught the eye of... Ben Affleck, but Gal- because Gal Gadot, did, yeah. Did you explain why? Did I miss that when I was? Oh touring? no, no. It, well, this the reason why we we're donating yeah. to it because Zack Snyder's adopted daughter had killed herself. Uh, oh my Before gosh. that, during so, production of the movie, yeah, right? during oh. production of the movie, and and Zack had to uh, remove himself from it, and that's why Joss Whedon came in and and. Oh, I didn't know that's why. I thought yeah, they just sexually harassed him people like and, and no. said Buffy the Vampire Slayer is no oh good. Somebody get me my pudding. Uh, that's probably what he said. <laughs> Sounds all right. Like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so fuck that movie up, but so Man. we got it released all four glorious hours of it, 
Um, and I was just didn't think they'd go forward with it, right? Like, even now, none of us did. Even someone outside of that yeah. DC bubble, I was like, yeah. "That's they're never going to show you a different version of a movie and they already I'm, put out." I'm just, like, and yeah, I'm I'm giving James Gunn the benefit of the doubt. My faith is fifty fifty. It's not as hard as it was before. Um, I'll give here's a tease. I'll give more thoughts, and I, I actually have a laid out ten year plan. Brad, Brad, seen it. Already. Say I've seen this plan. It's yeah. nice. It's yeah. sick with it. It's sick with <laughs> it. There is it is. What it is. <laughs> and I, I'm I'm gonna relay that on fourth mother box. Take a shot every time we say sick with it. Yeah, I think that it. needs to be the episode title. Sick with this it. Yeah. Sick with it. Sick with it. <laughs> Happy holidays. Sick, sick with it. it. Sick with it. Christmas. <laughs> that might be my new my character's name next time on the house. Here. <laughs> I'm sick with it. I'm sick with it. Quit Verasi. Sick with it. Verasi. Sick with it. Verasi. <laughs> sick hey with it. <laughs> Ty's long lost brother. Hey now. My brother was here in May of last year. Sick with it. Marathi. Well, that was Pike Rendessa. Sick with it. Marathi. Oh, Rend- oh yeah, Pike Rendessa. You should be related yeah. to Ty Verasi and be like, I'm sick here to. Sick with it. Rendessa. I'm here to work against <laughs> Kylo because Kylo killed my brother. Kylo killed my brother. Oh, that'd be fun. Where's yeah, the that'd booze? be a good story. Where's the booze? Where's the booze? What, what is that from? Dumb and Dumber. It's Harry. Oh, <laughs> that's when that's when Lloyd comes in. It would just before he, I got robbed by a sweet old lady on a motorized cart. He comes in <laughs> and he's like, Nyeh. "Where's the booze?" I got robbed, <laughs> and then he's, "I got robbed." Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I haven't seen the movie too long. I need to watch it's it. It's been again. a while for me it's too. Fucking great, man. Um, all right, what else? You well, said well, you speaking something. with the the Halcyon, there has been. I think people all expected Universal to be like Hogwarts Hotel. Hotel, go. Their reaction, in my opinion, has been these escape rooms they've done. Have you seen this? They opened a Jurassic Park. I've heard of and these. And a Back to the Future. I haven't done it yet. I've seen I've a few pictures. I don't I know how I feel about I think this is genius rooms, on their part because yeah. it's just these two experiences that are about like an hour long each, and they can just rotate them out, switch them forever, and like they can make it whatever IP they own. Whatever the Jurassic IP World want. one intrigues me because like you're cool, you're escaping dinosaurs or something like that. That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah. And like I love Back to the Future, we so yeah, we I'd should be, all go do it. I've never, d- I've never done an escape the, room. Neither have I. The problem, I, I hate the them. trend. Like yeah. I think it's kind of kitschy. Yeah. Yeah. Now I, I don't know. They're the marketing this as like either. not as an escape room. Though. Is it? They're saying it's. Oh not, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they're saying it's not like an actual escape room though. So I don't know. That could just be their marketing. That could be their like buzzwords. Oh, interesting. But it, it's not. It like was a, the word of the day. Yeah. True. Sure. What, on, on my your calendar, calendar. <laughs> but you know what calendar I used to have back in there was a far side yeah. calendar. It was a far side far calendar. Awesome. I fucking awesome. I gotta go back and buy those books. Those are great. But the, get high and rule. The rave, the review's been like rave reviews. They say it's really good. And nice. I'm a Calvin this sounds Hobbs guy. this sounds kind of expensive at first, but it's about the same price. Like if you work it down to the hour or minute of the Star Cruiser, it was like fifty bucks a person. So oh, for the it escape sounds room? crazy at first, yeah. For the Not really, room. but with like when you like think about it, it's like, well, that's kind of what I paid for this. I have faith in Universal over everything. I can't wait to get yeah. my email where I can go on the float and throw beads at fat children again. I cannot <laughs> wait to do that. I'm I'm gonna get passes. You got you, man. Come I, on, I miss it. Come back. I, I miss it. I really. The mummy's do. up again. That Minions ride's gonna be open in summer, like already. Already? Yes, because that, that's how Universal operates. Yeah. Velocicoaster coaster was the only fucking thing happening around these parts during COVID. Can we talk about all yeah. the things that they've made during? Disney Do we have time to talk Tron about everything they made? Jeez. During Tron, like just in they made Tron's. a lot. Yeah, shit. Like they've made. When did Tron start? <laughs> did Hagrid's Hagrid, open before? Yeah, Hagrid like opened. Hagrid's might have opened during <laughs> yes. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so Hagrid's Velocicoaster. Um, <sighs> when else at Universal? I feel like something. I mean, the Mummy is closed down and open half like of five a times. fucking full new theme park. Is yeah, being yeah. Built. Epic <laughs> Universe is going to be open <laughs> probably <laughs> way before. I need these escape rooms. Oh, That's actually, Universal a built store. a whole other land on, in Hollywood quicker. Uh, yeah, Super dude. Nintendo land. Oh, Super yeah. Nintendo land. Yeah, yeah true. That's going to open soon. I, oh, fuck, man! It's it is so fucking. Tempting. I want to go. It is so tempting. Let I the love opening Nintendo. go, but do it Disneyland then a Universal. Well, that'd be a good time to go because. Toontown will be open again. Toonton. Toonton. <laughs> Toonton. Toonton. Toonton Abbey will be open again. Yeah. To Disneyland. The uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railroad with yeah. a new scene. Different new scene. scenes. Their yeah, queue looks so it. cool. Yeah, the queue's like a museum. Yeah. Like, our queue was just an empty building and they're outside for I an hour. Like, uh, he's got a point. Our queue didn't. They, they could have carried over, like, the memorabilia aspect should've. of it. And yeah, didn't. But really? I do you remember the memorabilia? I do, the absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they, they could do, like, what they did. Because it still fits. Because you're still going to a theater to see Mickey. So keep the theater stuff. Yeah, they just didn't did have more people inside, which is annoying. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like they're definitely, for these escape rooms, going to do a Horror Nights version. They're going to have a oh, horror yeah. escape room. They're going to have that rotating in and out with that event that I happens. miss Horror Nights, man. I didn't go so, last year. And they might even have a Horror Nights escape room year-round or something. Yeah, to, yeah they To might. have those people that still fear? do it. Yeah. 
But I, I think did. this is a genius frequent idea. Fr- then. Frequent fear pass? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm, gonna, I'm going to Universal tomorrow to meet Earl the Squirrel. Oh, I'm nice. Get selfie with him. He he meets on City Walk, so you don't even need a fucking pass. Just go really? Right yeah, he's right there in his Free little village. Yeah, I wish I knew that. I yeah, right. Wow, I crazy. Earl the Squirrel's the best holiday character ever. Yeah, fucking Holly love loves guy. Earl the Squirrel. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I knew that. I would have taken her to go see Earl. I the mean, Squirrel. like Universal's the Grinch too. Like, yeah, he's pretty don't good. don't sleep on Universal's Christmas, guys. I no like, Universal's yeah. Christmas is the shit. I their love their tree's it. enormous. I've wild. met some of the actors that are the Grinch, and yeah. they can just they're not in makeup, obviously not all green and whatever, but they can just snap into it. And they're like, "I'm a schmuck, I'm the Grinch." That's I'm fucking like, awesome. They just snap into I love it. That. And um, like, I'm looking at him, and he, you know, he looks just like me or you, but he's yeah. he's the Grinch. Who? What's the character on the Halcyon that was the mechanic? Sammy. 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 Yeah. Our Sammy was the Grinch. Was he? Yep. Sage was? Mm-hmm. Sage was. Dude, Sage, Sage? does so wow. much for Disney. Yeah. Like, he's Dang. singing in, over at Disneyland. you see that? He did something for the Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That's awesome, think. man. I think he's... Dude's all over the place. ...stepping he's away cool. slowly from Sammy. No! Nothing, nothing officially, like, I don't know. I haven't heard, uh, but, like, I, it I've, seems like he's stepping away. I would guess. You know yeah. what's crazy? I expect... I actually expect to never see some of these characters again. Oh, yeah. Like, because, like, they you, actors move on. It's just, yes. This I'm booking they, yeah. a Monday, though, for sure. I'm gonna. T- uh, yeah, I'm for sure booking yep. a Monday to yep. try just in case. I know? mean, eventually th- that actor will change too, right. but he's gonna be one of the longer staying ones. I feel like. Okay. I f- don't know for a fact, but I feel like he will be. But I know some of the Sammys, like one of the uh, Sajas, is now training to be a Sammy. Like, and he's done it. I think I've seen pictures on oh, Instagram. Oh, really? The yeah. Clark Kent one. No, the African American one. Oh, he was. I haven't he seen was that Saja. He was. He was. He was. Was he on ours? I think so. Okay. Yeah. He was one of the, I like, I the I main interact. He's like kind of jacked, right? Yeah, very, yeah. very. Yeah, uh, short hair, shorter yeah. hair, like yeah. Brad would remember jacked men. Yeah. Of course, oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. 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 Fucking kidding me? You had the one that was a piece. You said. Yeah, I think it's the same guy, right? Oh, same. I don't know. I think it's the same dude. The guy that was a piece. Know. So what's so what's the so since you can't be sexually objectified as a man technically anymore, right? <laughs> you um, can. But what's so no. so? What's the opposite of a misogyny alarm for us mm. here? <laughs> uh, I don't know. What should we call it? Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> Grandpa Simpson. It's a good thought. It's a good question. The the DuckTales Getting fu- alarm? philosophical up here. <laughs> now open it, Epcot. <laughs> I want to go. I, wanna go I do haven't that. done it, but it looks like it's actually good. What's open at Epcot? The DuckTales Adventure or something. They replaced the Agent P. That World replaced Kim Possible, oh, too. Cool. Yeah, oh, cool. Oh, I didn't it. know that. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm hoping for a Darkwing Duck Easter egg. I haven't heard. I know Len Testa and like his touring plans website did like the whole game, and they didn't mention one. He loved but Agent P. Yeah, and he, he said he, he loves this though. They said oh this was really awesome. good. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, I'm a big. Uh, I was a big Phineas and Ferb fan, man. I love Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, I have a picture in a in a frame in in my house of me and Bentley as a kid meeting Phineas and Ferb at Hollywood Studios. No, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's like um, next to Mama Melrose, in the area yeah. back there oh, that yeah. used to be. Part of um, Streets of America that we're mm-hmm. trying to yeah. cover. Yeah, that's where I'm at. That then. corner is the c- most consistently empty corner of any park. Yeah, like even th- today, like with ho- like. Have they ever reopened the Christmas shop yet? No. Still, even is during it ever going to open? Who knows? Wow. They only ever opened that back there for events. I know. That's the Muppet, Muppet shop. The Muppet shop. The Christmas oh, yeah. shop. Christmas shop. Not oh, I thought they were bleeding COVID. into Whoa. that. Oh, that's right. I remember yeah, that shop. That hasn't opened Fuck. in three years. I mean, it's I the been size of this forever. garage. I know. Yeah. It's, it's but, it, but there's no I Christmas merch in, in there. studios. I did too. Yeah, yeah like, there's not. No. The only place you can get Christmas merch is in Magic Kingdom. Epcot has the one in Germany. Yeah, yeah, Germany. DAC doesn't have one. It says Springs. Yeah. So like now, yeah, studios like doesn't have Universal's one. tribute store with Christmas merch. Kings, See, they can do Chef's that with kiss. a store rotated that quickly. Yeah, these it's escape wild. rooms are going to be rotated quickly. Yeah. I bet in and out. Universal's on point, man. Yeah, Earl the Squirrel is the final room of the tribute store this year. I love that. It's like he was that. I think it was yeah. that last year too. Right? No, Where last year um, the Yule Ball from Harry Potter was last, and it was fucking gorgeous. Oh, it was so perfect. It's like like their winter dance. I don't think I went last year. Yeah. The, the last year I went, the last room was Earl of Squirrel because it was like you were at a tree oh. shop. Like a farm, a tree so farm? Probably a Christmas tree, tree farm. years before, yeah. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, it was cool. I love Universal, man. I miss it. I really do. I really miss the fucking park. Going to try to go tomorrow. Like, because Good luck with the like crowds, middle bro. Middle of the day. I, I, know. See, I know. I saw pictures from shit the other day. There's, Hollywood showed me pictures on Twitter and stuff. There's and three things like, I want to do. I want to go do the mummy, get hot butter beer, and then do the Velocicoaster. Never had hot butter beer. I'll get out of there. Yeah. Never had Either it. Either way, I want to try it. Let me know what you think, because I'm curious, because it's something I've always wanted to try. I will. 
All right, fellas. Let's wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Merry. Hope, hope everyone has a nice Christmas. Happy Christmas. Um, the next <laughs> episode we're going to drop whenever you upload these. Yeah, um, it'll be like tomorrow probably. Okay. Uh, is going ten. to be the top 10 from each of us moments. So 30. Uh, <laughs> top 10 <laughs> There'll be crossovers. I don't know, man. Oh, there will be. Not a, yes. I, I've got Mine and Evan's number one are the same. Okay. I assume yours is. How did you... Let me, okay. It's top, tw- top, top 10, 20, top 10 moments of 2022 stars. Did you do canon moments or your s- moments as a fan? Because I did moments as a fan. It's, it's everything. Yeah. Okay, it's cool. everything mixed yeah. in. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what I, I did moments as but a fan. If our, I if have a lot of our number one is guys. not the number one, I'll be sh- fucking shocked. I think I know Brad's number one, and it won't be ours. That I was wild if it's not his. I think. I don't know. His number one is something you and I didn't experience. No, okay, no okay. I'll it's leave not, it at that. It's not that. Oh, it's not oh, okay, that. Okay, okay. It's something that you didn't okay. experience. Oh. Um, interesting, interesting. But, uh,. All right, uh, yeah, so look out for that episode, and we will see you on the next show. Until then, Merry fucking Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2023. <laughs> he beat me out. Most delayed beep of all time. <laughs> Merry fucking <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Be safe. Have yeah. fun. Drink some good bourbon. Break out the good stuff. It's the fucking holidays, kids. Um, we'll see you in 2023, and 2023 is going to be fucking It's going to be sick. sick with it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you for listening, guys. Truly. Uh, it's been a great year for the podcast. It really has. Um, we'll see you next year. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Always end good journey. Rise Jedi Knight. Master Yoda, was this the last episode of the year for Jedi Talk? No. There is another.